Good morning, so we are going to start our morning coffee. It's 6.46, I've been up since probably about five o'clock this morning. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. The kids start um, e-learning today, so it's a learning curve for both of us. And we're gonna get some home workouts in today. We're gonna start our home workout routine. And this is gonna be our new normal for a couple weeks. So anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make some coffee. I got some Cinnabon K-Cups and my super creamer this is the sweet cream and we're just gonna go ahead and get this day started so good morning and let's get this full day eating keto underway all right so it is 8 30. i'm just going to have um just some water i'm getting a little hungry but i don't want to eat just yet my stomach i don't know i just usually i don't eat um until i get home from the gym so i try not to eat before 10 o'clock not i'm not like intermittent i guess i am intermittent fasting but i'm not like timing it or anything like that i usually like to stop eating by five and i don't usually like to eat before like 10 o'clock so it's pretty early so um i'm gonna have a water see if that'll help and then i'm going to take my um supplements these are the supplements i take um like every day like on my workout days this is l-carnitine and dhea and yeah so i know i had got a comment the other day by some nurse or something was like these these uh supplements you just pee them out or something like that look i feel like they are helping me lean out and i feel like they're working and yeah so if i want to take them i'm gonna take them sis oh also i've been also taking these hold on dang it where'd they go leo's not yeah, so Leo's been taking these too. That's why I couldn't find them. They're usually I usually keep all like my supplements in that drawer. But I've been taking these as well. These are the um, the Keto Electrolytes from Perfect Keto. And I'm digging these. I even Leo was like, man, these are pretty good. Um they have calcium, magnesium. Oh, I wish that would chloride, sodium, and potassium. And you can take one to ten capsules a day. So I usually, and there are four. Let me see. This is not. Was right here. It says how to use. Let me kind of reach into this. Um, in the morning when fasting to support mental perform or to support uh, mental performance, with or between meals to support ad adequate electrolyte intake. And then as a pre-workout to support energy and performance. I definitely feel like I have a little boost of energy. Leo said the same thing. Um, and I feel like I can go a little bit longer. But yeah, I've been actually really, really liking these. So I know a lot of people, you know, they'll say, oh, are you still taking the magnesium and potassium? No, I'm just taking these now. And again, I've been really, really liking them. So I take three in the morning with one of each of these. So... Yeah, if you guys wanted to get your hands on these, I will leave a link down below. Um, but I've been really, really, really loving these. So definitely a new find that I've been loving. All right, so it is, I think it's 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock on the head now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have something to eat because I'm actually really hungry. So we're going to do some tuna. This is going to be two packs. Why is this one damn carb? Okay, well, it's one carb. Uh, zero fat. 18 protein so two packs of that and um, i think i'm gonna do mm, one tablespoon of mayonnaise don't come for me about my helmets okay i tried the fancy bougie one and that was gross so we're just not and then i'm gonna make little lettuce wraps with a head of lettuce and then i'm probably gonna put some valentina on there and that'll be my first meal but yep so we're gonna have some tuna some helmets some lettuce and some Valentina and that is going to be our first meal so there we go all right so here is my tuna I just put some Valentina on there and I ended up doing two tablespoons we're going to show macros at the end of this video so two tablespoons of mayonnaise um two packets of the tuna and I have two ounces of lettuce right here and I'm just going to wrap them up and some salt and pepper so super easy um, I'm going to use this as like kind of I guess my pre-workout because I'm going to go and work out when we're done Becky's playing Jenga <laughs> But, um, yeah, this is our first meal of the day. Okay, hold on. So I'm going to do my pre-workout. This is the one that I've been using. I freaking love this one. Sorry, she's got her headphones on on the 
she's doing her e-learning right now and she doesn't hear us talking so she's kind of loud but um yeah so we're gonna do the perfect keto lemon love this one it does have exogenous ketones in it let me kind of show you this one is like where it's at so it has some exogenous ketones in it it's not moving so nine grams of that per scoop caffeine 50 um, and then it has your branch chain amino acids for 2000 and it has some MCT um, my girl Michelle Alvarez actually put me on to this and I was like okay she's like dude it's so good so at first I had to like kind of get used to the taste but now I'm actually really enjoying it and I really 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 like it I do about one and a half scoops slow because I'm a gangster but again I do have a perfect keto code but even you know this one's where it's at I really really like this one I actually prefer this one over that extend one I was having and it's way cheaper than the extend one let me tell you that one was set me back like 75 like 70 bucks because I had to get it shipped so um but all right I'm gonna go ahead and have this and then we're gonna work out downstairs I'm going to um do my whole brace or my watch thing and I'm interested in seeing roughly when I was at the gym doing like the weights and the cardio at the gym I was burning like around 450 calories so I'm excited to see kind of what I'm doing I'm probably only going to do like 20 minutes of cardio with this because I have like this platform stepper um that I'm going to use and then the weights so today is going to be leg day I'm just going to change up some things so we're doing what we can so perfect keto pre-workout and let's go be tough guys there go get our workout done okay so I just finished my workout so today was legs and I did like a bar so I do have like some free weights and like a bar downstairs so I did that but I did a lot of resistance bands training my legs are on fire and I did like the step platform you like the old school like 80s aerobics platform guys that is so freaking intense like no wonder why all those ladies who did like step aerobics in the 80s were like those skimpy leotards because they were in killer freaking shape <laughs> i went ahead to try to put it into my watch and i forgot to accept something that they were saying so i only got like a good like seven or eight minutes on it but like i was like <gasps> like trying to keep up with this lady and i did it so i bought the step platform from um amazon for 25 bucks came within like two days because I knew I wasn't going to go to the gym and I knew I did not want to sacrifice all the progress I made and honestly working out just kind of helps me deal with like life. I have really really bad anxiety and I've been off my medication for like about a year now and I try to keep myself off that way and I feel like working out just helps me clear my mind. I wanted to look at, Ray has shown me how to do this, to look at my my watch activity thing. Oh here it is. So let's see. It says I moved 329. Um, I exercised for 43 minutes, which it was longer than that. It was probably close to an hour. Um, and I burned, they said 58 calories. This is all messed up. I am gonna do like a, um, a home workout video this week uh, with the stepper and I'll like show you all like the, the stuff I'm doing. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do another leg day um i don't know you guys let me know down below do you guys want to see me do like a leg day i feel like all women want to see leg days because everybody wants to like a tone legs and a bigger butt but if you guys i was thinking about doing just like some arm exercises like maybe like my back and shoulders or whatever but um if you guys are interested in seeing the leg day first we can do the leg day first and then um we can do like because i'm we're going to be home for a couple weeks so uh i can always do like an upper body workout on another video so let me know down below but yeah i messed up but i'm telling you that thing like my whole lip sweating i was like <sighs> like gasping my my back's all wet my hair's all wet so i mean i feel good i was actually exactly what i needed because like i had already had to take an ibuprofen because my kids were screaming at each other today so um we got it in and it's 12.30 right now, and I'm not hungry right now, so we're not going to eat anything. But I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to drink my water, and I'm doing laundry right now. Tonight's dinner is going to be super low-key, easy. Rhea actually made some pasta salad. I'll show it to you. She's seen, like, some recipe. Oh, yeah. Sorry. She's seen some recipe um, on, like, TikTok, and she wanted to make a pasta salad. So she made that for her and her sisters. But I'm thinking we have extra steak. Um, you probably would have seen already the what's for dinner. And I made steak and we had extra. So I'm gonna do like a steak salad and cut up some lettuce and, and excuse me. And I'm thinking about making like some breadcrumbs or something like that to go with it. 
is what I'm thinking. Or maybe like some cheesy bread because the whole family loves the cheesy bread. So um, yeah, it's going to be really low key. When I get hungry, I'll eat. But for right now, I'm good. So um, yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my heart rate down, finish this laundry up, and I'll see you when I get back when I kind of think about what I'm going to pull together for this dinner. But I don't know if I want breadcrumbs. Like, I was going to make, like, keto breadcrumbs to go with that, but I feel like that wouldn't be good. I feel like it would have to be, like, tortilla, like, strips or something like that. So, all right, I don't know. We'll see. I'll see you when I get back. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have a snack. It's 1 o'clock, 105 right now. So um, I'm going to have some of this dry cured um, ham prosciutto. I got it from Aldi. They actually had it on um, sale for, I think it was a dollar. So I like bought a couple, but it's three and a half fat for um, one ounce. This is about two ounces right here. I weighed it out. Zero carbs, seven protein. And then I'm having two cheese sticks. You got to be really quiet about these around here because these kids be eating everything. So you got to like hide them and stuff because they'll eat like three of them at a time. Um, but yeah, but I'm having two of those. So that's one carb each. Um, again, I will show you everything um, later on when I do like my, uh, when I wrap it up. But I'll show you my calorie count and my carb count. So I still believe I have like 18 carbs left and I've only had like 600 calories. So I'm doing pretty good. Um, but yeah, so this is what is going to be our snack. All right, so it's about 4.15. I'm going to start making myself some dinner. Um, yeah, it was Leo. Um, we had some of these 4.505 uh, pork rinds. So I was like, man, I can really go for like some nachos. <laughs> and I was like, how about I do some of these 4.505 ones? So I'm going to take some of these. I still have, um, I was going to do a salad like a steak salad, but I was like, yeah, these nachos sound way better. Um, this is the top sterling steak that I made um, yesterday, which you would see in the what's for dinner that went up, you know, a few days ago or whenever I put it up. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of that, and I have uh, another brick of Kobe Jack cheese, and this is less than one carb, so I'm probably going to do, I don't know, i got to kind of fit it into my macros, maybe one, one or two ounces of that, which I think it'll be two ounces, and then... I'm going to throw that in the boiler to get it nice and crispy. And then I'm going to put a dollop of sour cream. And then I have a fresh avocado. And yeah, that's kind of how I'm coming together. Like some steak nachos. Steak nachos. So um, kind of how I do things, how I figure out my portions is I check my macros. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a lot of space because I really haven't eaten that much today. And which I'm happy because sometimes when things happen or I get a little anxious I tend to turn to food as like a comfort measure and today we're not doing that which is good I feel like I got a good workout in and I've been kind of busy with the kids so I've kept my mind occupied so try to do that guys just try to keep yourself busy so anyways I'm gonna do some of these these three things here and we will see what we got Okay, so here is the leftover steak. I have two ounces of, sorry about that, two ounces of the Kobe Jack cheese, five ounces of steak, and two ounces of the pork rinds. I'm just going to make sure all the cheese is on pork rinds. Um, I have my oven set to broil, so it'll just like bubble everything up. So we're going to toss that in there. I'm going to do, what did I say, two, two tablespoons of cream cheese and a half of the avocado. I might actually do a little bit more. I might do the whole avocado because I think I have it. So, yeah, nachos. I'm very excited. All right, so here is my nachos. So I did put them in the broiler. You could see some crispy bits on there. But, um, yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> they really did get, like, kind of burnt up. So eh, maybe don't do that. But um, I have, you guys can see. I don't know why it's so bright in here today. So you see I have the five ounces of steak. I ended up doing 135 grams of avocado, two tablespoons of sour cream, two tablespoons of, or um, yeah, two tablespoons of cream or sour cream. Um, you could totally see the little burnt parts, but you have to be careful. I haven't done this in a while and I forgot how quickly they will go up. And then I have five ounces of steak and then the cheese. I just ended up tossing it in the microwave for a few minutes just so the rest of the cheese can melt. But so good. But to top it off, we're going to put some Valentina. If you guys never had Valentina before, it's just a hot sauce. And it's like my favorite. So I'm just going to put it on there. This is a big old thing of nachos too. You could hear Becky. Okay. So 
big old plate of nachos. You could hear it popping too. Ooh, yes. I'm probably gonna share these with Leo. I'm not even gonna lie, because he's gonna come out and see them. He ate a little bit right now, but he's laying down. So, all right. This all right, guys, so I am going to have myself a little treat because, you know, we all deserve a little treat right about now. So Leo picked these up for me from Costco. These are the sea salt caramel keto pint bars. They're freaking good. They're like really, really good. They're a little small, but they are super duper good. Let me um, show you here. So they come just like this <clears throat> and they look just like that. So they're chocolate covered. Um, let me flip this around so I can show you the macros. They're only two net carbs. And I thought the ingredients were pretty good too. So 17 total fat, um, two net carbs, three protein. So this is what they are sweetened with. It's cream, whole milk, salted caramel, natural flavor. Why is this not? Chocolate coating, unsweetened chocolate, urethritol, coconut oil, some egg yolk, concentrate, tapioca fiber, vegetable glycerin, sea salt, um, guar gum, stevia, monk fruit, non-GMO, acai or something. I don't know. I don't know what that word is, but yeah. So this is what they look like. I'm gonna bite into it so you can see. These are stinking good. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And they're really, really good. But they definitely have that dark chocolate flavor. I told you guys I was gonna go over my macros at the end because we're gonna wrap this day up because I'm just gonna sit on the couch and watch Netflix. But, um, so we have a total of nine out of the 20 net carbs, but I have 28 total carbs, which is good. 11 fiber, 118 of fat, 129 of protein, and 16, 17 of total calories, which is great because I try to keep my calories between like 1450 and 1600. So that's good. It's definitely in a caloric deficit there. Yeah, so I know you guys are probably like, oh, your fat isn't as high. Um, I'm eating a little bit differently just because I'm trying to lean out and you know, I'm not eating to get into ketosis. I feel like I'm pretty much already fat adapted. Um, I would have checked my ketones, but my monitor isn't working. I had to send an email out to the company, but with everything going on right now, I haven't gotten back, they haven't heard, gotten back to me yet. But um, yeah, um, it just worked the other day and I was at like a 0.7. So today's Monday, I tried it on Saturday and I was like a 0.7. So I do know that I am definitely fat adapted, but yeah, so these are my total, oh gosh, I don't even know what that, so this has everything. I am using the Carb Manager app, have everything in there. Remember guys, make sure you're using your scale just to make sure you're not going over and being any heavy handed. Okay. All right, so I am in my robe and it's a little bit, it's a little stressful. It's a little stressful, but I'm definitely keeping myself busy. Um, trying not to like stress eat or impulse eat, uh, making sure I'm getting a lot of water in and just trying to maintain a normal schedule even though we're not really leaving the house i'm trying to do everything i would do outside inside so please make sure if you're new here i would love for you to stick around and subscribe hit the notification bell join the crew it's a great place to be and we're going to get through this together we're going to keep everything as normal as possible and i'm going to pump out so many videos so you guys have something new to watch so you guys stay off the news and just get through these hard times i love you guys i am here for you we're going to get through this and I will see y'all on the next one. Take it easy, friends. You promised me to tell if there's anything haunting you. You leave it out saying where you're going.